I guess we could build it up as much as we want. We could we could we could pump this up, but I think really at the end of the day, we everybody wants to know who who do we think are going to just win this race and win the championship? Who who's equipped to do it this year? Who's not going to let the pressure get to him? Who's going to get it done in that game seven moment? Who do you got? I I'm going to say this, and it's going to like make a lot of people upset, but I have Denny Hamlin winning it. I think Denny Hamlin actually wins the championship this year, and. I've, so I went I went through and I was like, who's going to make the Final Four? And I did my three locks with Byron, Truex, and Hamlin, and then the one surprising. It's the one surprising I don't think wins it. Uh, in my case, Brad Kozlowski, I can't, I can't see Brad doing it. And then I go to Truex and Byron. And at the end of the day, I think the most consistent team in NASCAR under the next-gen banner altogether has been Denny Hamlin. Um, he might not have the wins to show for it. He might not have, like... Obviously, he didn't make the final four last year, but I think as a whole, the 11 team has been the best team other than his pit road mistakes. His pit road mistakes have been plenty, and that's more to do with him than his crew, but he's limited that a lot lately, and I see I see Denny Hamlin doing it. I I went back and forth, and I'm like, who who really could do this? And I've tried I tried talking, you know, could Truex do this? Could Byron do this? And every time, I was just going back to Hamlin. Hamlin's my pick. I I. I think Hamlin gets a championship this year. Wow. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. All right. I'll tell you why Hamlin doesn't win this championship. And it is the reason why he has never won a championship. The reason why he will never win a championship. This guy never lets a damn thing go. This guy is literally a prima donna drama queen. He literally has one thing happen to him. He makes his entire life about this. He blows it up as to this big balloon and it just hangs over him. And then when it comes to that game seven moment, Hamlin just completely craps the bed, forgets. He takes a, as my brother would say, he takes a paper plate out to the start finish line and just lays a massive dump on it. Can't perform in the game seven moment. Can't make stuff happen. Hamlin is two in his own head and he will never win a championship for that reason. And that's the reason he's never won a championship. He lets things build up like a like a drama queen. Doesn't let anything go. He doesn't have thick skin. That's why he doesn't win the championship. Byron, why Byron doesn't win the championship? This is easy. You have to lose one before you can win one. We've seen this time and time and time again. You cannot win a championship if you haven't lost one. You have to learn how to lose one. That's what's going to happen. This is Byron's year to learn how to lose one, and he will come back stronger than ever, and he will start knocking them off like crazy. Um. That puts me between Bush and Truex. Bush, two-time champion. Truex, asterisk, should be a three-time champion, in my opinion. He's had three of the most dominant years in a row, 16, 17, 18. Only got one title out of that. Um, and then again, he's, he's been there close in 2021. He knows how to get around Phoenix. This guy has been unstoppable this year. Um, when they had the whole debate, who's the championship favorite, Byron, Truex? I, I stayed on Truex's side. I think Truex... Head over heels this season has been the guy to beat. Um, he's got better equipment than Kyle Busch has. I think Kyle Busch mentally is there. I believe he's going to turn up in the playoffs. He's going to shock the world. I picked him in the preseason to, to make the championship four. I predicted him to win 10 races this year. Um, I missed on that. And I think it's a lot of those growing pains that you get with a new team. Um, but I think in the playoffs, it's, they're going to figure it out. I think they're going to be there. They're going to perform. I think it's going to come down to Truex and Bush late in this race. They're going to be running one, two. Bush isn't going to be able to run Truex down. He's not going to be able to do it. Truex is going to get out to that front uh, or in the lead there late in this race. Um, we're not going to get a late caution. I don't believe. I don't predict it. And I think it's going to be Kyle Bush trying to run down Truex and Truex doesn't make mistakes. He's the man to beat. He's going to control this race from start, race from start to finish. Truex is going to be a two-time champion. Truex is going to win another championship and he's coming back next year. He's going to try and go back to back, and I think he can do it. I think this guy is on another level right now. He has nothing else going on in his life that really is distracting him right now. All of his focus is on racing, 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 racing. This team is firing on all cylinders, and I think that the disputes between him and James Small have been entertaining this year, but I think it's lit a fire underneath both of them. I think this is their year. I don't think you could stop Truex. Truex is winning the title. That was long-winded. <laughs> it was long winded, but I mean, it's, it's well deserved. Uh, who has been the best driver this season? And Truex. Byron has Byron has the wins, but Byron hasn't been the strongest driver. It's been Truex. Um, yeah, I mean, how, how can you argue with that? It's Truex. Truex is the guy to beat. 